not out of the woods, but it is on its way to recovery. The second thing to talk about is another kind of pollution, which we call noise pollution, coming predominantly from boat traffic. But before we can get into that, here's a bit of natural history. Belugas migrate to shallow waters to give birth to their young. It is not uncommon to see them in shallows, rivers, and estuaries so that they can give birth to their calves. As a result, the calves are born into dark and murky underwater environments, and they do rely heavily on vocalization from the first day that they are born. These are incredibly vocal, these are incredibly social animals, once referred to by early Arctic explorers as the canaries of the sea. They make a wide variety of calls, and who knows, maybe today we might hear some of them. Okay, we're Kila. symphony in there. Let's give the ladies a round of applause. I'll be honest folks, what you're hearing right there is a small sampling of what these animals are capable of. We've done a lot of research into beluga vocalization. If you head downstairs, we've actually got an interactive panel that allows you to mix and match a lot of the sounds that we've listened to. Now, they make a wide array of calls and we're only scratching the surface of what they're capable of here at the aquarium. Now, that kind of vocalization research and that kind of conservation effort is only possible thanks to the incredible human 